Hey, welcome to Our American Travel. I'm Al. I'm Melanie. Hey, in this episode, guess what? We're we're doing something a little different. We're restoring an old, rusty... Real rusty. Skillet. Iron, cast iron. Skillet. Cast iron. That's what I, that's what I was looking yeah. for right there. Along to my parents, and we were cleaning out, uh, or going through the workshop trying um, over the summer and found it there. And so we're going to take it from not so good to... A lot better maybe not perfect but a yeah. lot better yep. and what we would love is that if some of you've done this before if you see something we're missing uh, maybe to make it even better maybe you would uh, comment uh, below and please and tell us what we should do but uh, we think we're gonna get a lot of enjoyment out of the skillet now yes so Looking forward to it stay tuned Today, because um, we are going camping next week and it's going to be cold, and we've been wanting to try cooking on a cast iron stove with a campfire. Um, stove? A uh, fire. Campfire. Skillet? Cast iron skillet. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, last summer, we found a skillet in my dad's workshop, and it's uh, interesting. I'm not sure. According to everything we've watched and listened, we can restore this. It will be good for years and years and years to come. We also have a lodge skillet here that I did not take good care of. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try to clean it also while we're doing this. Uh, clean it, season it, keep it nice and handy. And then this is a skillet that was my mom's. It's also a large, a small one. Actually, this is this maybe ours. Um, it looks like it's been in pretty good shape. We've kept it oiled. Um, honestly, I have had never any idea on how to take care of these. But these are really good kitchen utensils. So five easy steps. Okay, so the first step is to get one of these handy dandy Brillo pads. Um, we actually bought the Brillo brand, and we're gonna try to scrub all of the rest. Yeah, because we're, we're name brand kind of people. No, the other one was SOS. They oh. didn't have like a Kroger brand oh. or anything like that. I've got some water here, and I am just gonna try to scrub all of this rust off. So the back is in much better condition than the front. So it looks like, Actually, I won't know until I try to rinse it off. Looks like most of that has come off. Okay, now I'm going to try to scrub all of this rust off. And this is, well, let me pour a little bit of this water in here. Because it's coming off. Evidently, there is a story as to how it got this way. Did you hear the story? I, didn't I don't know if they heard it or not. Okay. You talking to me or the or to all our viewers? I'm talking to you. I heard the story that they decided it'd be a good deal to cook a steak on the grill with the um, cast iron skillet, and so it worked really, really well. Mm -hmm. And they went out and got the steaks off and just left the grill and uh, oh, it's started. Clean. And then it started oxidizing, and they just kind of put it in the shop and put nails in it and stuff like that. And yeah. Okay. So you know, it, it is what it is, and. We're gonna clean on a bit and we'll get back with you on how well that works. Okay, okay. Um, we still have quite a bit of rust. This didn't come off the back. Got a lot of it out, a lot of those things that were chipping off, but we're gonna to have to keep cleaning on it. Um, this is still step one, just getting all of the rust off with a stainless steel scrubby. Yep, all right, we're gonna put a little elbow grease on it. Like I know how. Okay. You know what I'm saying? What I find it hard is that it gets so soapy you can't really tell what you got off, but it has that rusty water, so you know you're getting some rust out. We got all of that. Those look like paint peels almost, but it was rust peels. We got all of that out. Yeah, you know it's a uh, it's a little bit of a process, but it's gonna be so worth it. When we taste those nice savory steaks and when we when we put that trout over it this weekend, hopefully we catch some. <laughs> we may not catch any. Okay. You're gonna, you're gonna clean the trout? We'll get the trout clean if we catch some. Okay. okay. So we have scrubbed on this several times. How many times? I don't know how many times. To try five? To get five. To try to get all the rest off. Uh, we just have a little tiny bit left, so Al is using this 
scrubby to see how it works as opposed to the steel wool. He uses these with his uh, blackstone, right? Do you use these with your blackstone? Yeah, a little bit. Not not this particular one, but one like that. It's a little bit in the little where it ridges in the corner. But look how much better than it looks than it did before we started. Okay, so we've been scrubbing on this thing for about 30 minutes. We've tried a variety of tools. It looks a whole lot better than it did. We'll show you a picture in a minute. Step two is to rinse off all the soap because there's soap on these steel wool pads. Um, we didn't use any other soap. So you have to rinse it for a long time. We don't want any soap on here at all. How much soap do you want left on it? Zero. Oh. When we put flax seed, this is what I learned from a chef video that I watched. When we put the, the oil on it, which I didn't tell you what time, but it's flax seed oil. Um, it will not mix with the soap. You've got to try to do everything you can to get all the soap off. Step. Step three. Yeah. It's drying. Uh, that, so we're going to turn our burner on here. Probably an open flame would be better. Uh, yeah. We have open flame out in the trailer, but we don't have any propane because we yeah. ran it all out yeah. in cold weather. Um, uh, so we need to go get some propane because uh, we're getting ready to go camping. Uh, so i got to hurry up. Uh, and so I'm just going to dry this up gently with a, um, a paper towel. Wait, look how good it looks. I want to show everybody how good it looks. So much better, right? Yeah. So much better. And then we're going to try to condition it here. Um, well, after we dry it. So this is step three, drying it. And so we got this really hot um, thing here. We're going to see uh, some smoke come off this. I think we set it on here. Let's see what happens. Well, if you have an open flame, um, you would let it go for about a minute. Um, I'm going to let this go for a couple minutes. I because think. we just turned the burner on. So I don't, in electric, it takes a lot longer. So um, we just want to make sure that all the water, because it... We may put it in the oven as well, just to make sure. Hey, well, we're at step four, I think. Step four is kind of like the seasoning process or we're gonna oil it up, basically. We're using this fresh flaxseed oil. Um, that's kind of when we- Can you turn the bottle, please, so I can see Well, it. I will in a minute. Okay, thank you. But I'm looking at it right now. You wanna okay. look at it? I'm no, thank at you. Look at it? I'm looking at it. Okay, well, um, you know, the recommendations that we uh, looked at says to use flaxseed. You can use some other things, like avocado oil or other things, but flaxseed is what they recommend. So. We got this off Amazon. So I'm gonna pour some in the pan. And then we're just gonna rub it around the pan with this uh, paper towel. See, it's kind of folded up real nicely here. And we're just gonna rub it around. Well, doesn't that look beautiful? Look how beautiful that looks. Got to do the bottom too. I'm getting it all around it. I'm getting the sides first. And we'll, we'll go to the bottom next. So it's you know it's not getting real dirty. So we've got you know we've gotten it pretty pretty clean. So we're kind of wiping it off real good here with this. Look how beautiful that looks. Can you do the handle too? Maybe? I already did the handle. Oh cool. Didn't see that. We'll just do it again. Thank you. Make sure that you're happy. Thank you. Now what are we going to do? We're going to stick it in a 500. Or just put it on the rack? Just put it on the rack upside down. 500 degree oven. And we're going to put a little bit of tin foil on the bottom because it's probably going to drip a little bit. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and get the tin foil now. And then that's going to stay for about an hour. We have got the pan in the middle center of the rack and we got a little bit of tin foil in case there's any drippies and it's going to stay for one hour and then we're going to pull it back out it's been about an hour or so in the oven at about 500 degrees and so we're going to take it out and it's going to be awesome you know what i'm saying yeah all right it's really really hot well it looks the back of it looks good Interesting, it looks a little spotty. It does. I wonder if we didn't get all the stuff off. 
So if you've ever had this, or maybe we didn't get enough oil on it. Didn't look a, like a, it was a, I think we're gonna try it, to do it one more time. Okay. Um, they put some more, let it cool off, put some more oil on it. Try it one more time. Okay. So it, it looks a whole lot better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you know what happened and you can comment on this video, that'd be awesome. Yeah, like maybe, well, I, I don't think it's a water issue because we, we did try we it. We heated yeah. it really hard. And uh, so I just think maybe we didn't get enough oil on it. But okay. we're going to try that again. And if you have any good recipes on cast iron skillet, let us know too. I'm thinking about just, um, you know, put some oil in it, heating it up, let it see it smoke off, just like you do on the grill. Uh, that's what you do on the grill. So, mm -hmm. anyway. Okay. All right. We'll be back with you. Hey, thanks for watching this episode of Our American Travel. We really appreciate every time you, uh, what do you call that? Tune in. Tune in. That's like an old time. YouTube thing. in. YouTube in. Okay. I don't know. So um, we'd love it if you would like and subscribe to our channel. That way you, you'll um, maybe watch more of our videos. Yeah. And uh, as crazy as I am, in, I am, you know, you, you don't want to miss any of that stuff. <laughs> you might want to miss it. Well, that's not right. So okay. anyway, um, so we're sorry. We haven't really been real diligent uh, this uh, over this season. We've been really, well, we always yeah. say we're busy. Yeah. We haven't really been busy. We've just been lazy. Yeah. And lazy is good sometimes. So uh, we're, we're, we hope to be doing better as we move forward here. You know what we said so, we're going to do better. We're going to do what we do. We yeah, we're going to do what we do. We'll, we'll do better in the summer. Uh, yeah. it's a, just school year is difficult and lots of things going on. So anyway. Um, Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching. Remember, it is. All, All about, about the, the journey, journey to infinity and beyond.